Peace of Christ to all. Uh, today uh, we will talk about uh, one of the proclaimed miracles in the Quran. And in the same time, you know, uh, I made many videos before, and Muslims they try to argue with with, with people, especially those who do not know Arabic. Uh, and they say to you, okay, as an example, the argument it was, uh, somebody came, you know sent me and asking me about the word kawkab in here, the one we see it in here, this word. The word kawkab, uh, in Arabic, if you ask any Arab guy, you ask him what the word kawkab, you know, he will say to you right away, kawkab means a plant. If we ask, if we ask an Arab guy, uh, if we want to write the planet Earth, what, what we use, what we say, he will say kawkab al-ard, kawkab al-ard, you know. I can right now go to Yahoo and type uh, kawkab al-ard and I will, find, I will find tons of websites and I can translate any of them and they will come right away as the planet Earth. So they try to say that this translation here, if it's a correct one, it's a star, which is a false translation. But I'm not, anyway, I'm not going to waste my time with this because I, I exposed it before. And they will say to you, okay, you know what? We admit, we admit, the word Kaukab can come as a planet, but in this case, it's coming as a star. Oh, oh suddenly, they, suddenly they admit, uh, okay, well, uh, and they say to you uh, in, in, the, in the dictionary today, uh, the word kawkab is coming as a star, and a, uh, 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 as a star and as a planet, which means both. Uh, I have to say, yes, this is true. It can it, it show up uh, this way, but there is a reason for this. Why? Because simply it's in the Quran. The one who, you know, dictionaries, those dictionaries are not made before the Quran. Those are new dictionaries. We don't have really an old dictionaries before. Before, Isla before, before, before Islam exists, we don't have a uh, dictionary at all. Nothing like nothing like this, you know. Actually, all the science of uh, of Arabic language is is, is exist long after Islam. It's not even made by the Arab, you know. It's not even uh, or created by the Arab, you know. And this is the funny thing, uh, like even the Arabic language don't you not, not you know uh, uh, use not to have those uh, valves and kasra and fatha and dhamma, which is changing the sound and make you and and the and the dots used to be a plain language have nothing no dots nothing which is very hard to read because it can be very confusing so the quran used to be very confusing extremely confusing but anyway this is not our topic so when they say to you i can find you in the in the in the dictionary uh, today that the word uh, kawkab come as a planet and come as a star okay i, I want to ask you that and why allah is using a word is very confusing why he don't use a word if this is true that the word come as a planet and a star, why he don't say to you that the word mean star and he used the word star? Like, do we have in Arabic the word star? Absolutely. There's a chapter in the Quran. It's called the chapter of Najm, which means a chapter of star. Why you don't say Allah Najm? Just say Najm. You know, very, 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 uh, very easy. But to to show you that the word kawkab, it it cannot be. <clears throat> It cannot be a star for a very simple reason, because simply the word next to it is Duri. You see the word in here? This word, Duri, which means reflecting. This word in here is how to prove that Muslims are trying to fabricate, because this word Duri is description for the light of Kauka. Like when the Muslims they say the light, uh, it's a, it's a. They say, they say it's a brilliant star, brilliant star. This is a translation. W what is the word brilliant? It is duri, supposedly. The fact the word duri, it is a reflection light. And let us prove that from their Islamic interpretation. So what the what the Quran is saying, as if it is, as if it is, as, huh? As if it is a shiny planet, not a shiny star. Because the word duri is coming from the word dur. Dur means pearls. You know, pearls? Pearls themselves, they don't, if you put them in the dark, they don't give light. If you put them under the light, they reflect light. So, kakao kabin duri. Let us show you uh, and expose the lies of those uh, weird uh, dummy. Now, I'm not going to use my own method to, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to expose the lies of Muslims. I will expose their lies 
uh, let us me I, I will I will make their lies expose their lies what do you think about this I'm not going to say any of my own this is Ibn Kathir in front of you and this is the interpretation of the verse we are talking about you will see in here this is the verse let's go down to the verse here we go first of all Muslims they claim that they speak Arabic the word ka'annaha mean as if it is as if it is if we go and we read the verse in English the translation of the verse in English as it is you will see it says as if it is as it is not as now somebody will say to me yeah for sure it is as because this is a, a parable it's not uh, it's not about something uh, for real uh, this is why it is no 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 in here the description is not about Allah no more it's about the light the light of Allah the parable of his light is as if he is there was there were a niche from until, until now until now this is about Allah the, before now the, the the after as if it were as if it were is description of the light itself as 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 so in here you will see that the word is coming here is saying that that can, uh, candle that candle or that lamp as if it is kawkabundari as if it is what a planet now let us see why this is planet even in here the Ibn Kathir translation the Muslim translation is false translation this is as if it were a star made of pearls thank you very much as if it is kawkabundari so what the word duri mean pearls then why you are translating it as a shiny star a brilliant star is that because Muslims are a bunch of liars because dur which means pearls are not shiny star they are not even shiny at all pearls are not they are not diamond they are and you know and even all of those stones they don't produce light from themselves you have to put them under light to see they reflect actually pearls are just white they are not even shiny they are not not a big deal you know you can go and search right now for the word pearls and you will see that it's just a stone it's a white stone it's not a big deal it's not even a, that much expensive you can buy a necklace of, of pearls for 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 60 bucks so as if it is what as if it is pearls how the star is going to be like pearls if it's a star in the same time they translate the word duri as a brilliant star but that will make contradiction that will make you muslims exposing yourself in a, in a in a in a way it is a planet in the same time you say it's a star so in here we have two contradictions in one in one uh, sentence happened because of the muslims lies because muslims are trying to translate something is not exist there making it something else so the word dur proved to us that this is cannot be a star this is must be a planet and actually it's for your benefit because Muslims if you say it's a brilliant star when the fact it is a brilliant uh, uh, planet that will be uh, an exposed to, to, uh, to the Quran so it's for your benefit to say uh, it's for your benefit to say it's a it's a uh, it's a cowcup which is going to expose another lie later we, you know we can talk about we, actually I made tons of videos you can so go and watch so sometimes the Muslims if they want they translate the word Duri as a brilliant and sometimes they translate it as it's pearls and you see in here which mean reflection read with me you see it which mean reflection okay well uh, how you say it's a star and you say to me it's reflection this is very weird there is a lot of dishonesty when Muslims they speak so I'm I'm not using even my own answer by the way Muslims to expose your lies I'm showing you from your Islamic translation, your Islamic words, how I expose you. This is not my answer yet. This is not my answer. But I don't want to talk about this topic no more. It's boring. I want to show you another lie from the mouth of Muslims as long as we are speaking about light and star and moon. So let us go and see the following. One of the Muslims' claim about miracles, which is exposed in my book, very number one, and I'm exposing hundreds of them actually a lot of them in the value number two which we are doing now proofreading and I hope soon we would have it published so you guys you will laugh you will get fat from laughing for 
uh, exposing those miracles. Anyway, uh, just as an example, in here the Muslims, they are saying that uh, chapter 78, verse number 12 and 13, uh, uh, and uh, chapter 71, verse number 15 and 16, is speaking about the differentiation, and they are showing you other uh, diff uh, the verses, chapter 86, verse number 3, saying that those are proving that Allah knows the difference between the light of the moon, that the light of the moon is reflection, and the light of the sun is uh, different. It's not reflection. How that happened? Let us watch together this video. And remember, the word in here we are going to focus in, it is the word nur. Nur. Which exactly, which is exa exactly this word, you know, in here, let us uh, show it to you, nur. Look how many times appear in this verse, chapter 24, verse number 35. This is the word nuron, nuron, nur, nur, nur. Nur is the word they are saying. It's a word mean reflection light. And look at this disaster we would have and how easy to expose Muslim lies who claim to be scholars. The Arabic word for moon is Kamar, and its light is described as Munir or Noor, meaning borrowed light or a reflected light. Whereas this, the moon is described as a Noor. Now, a Noor means a light that is originating from another source. And of course, this is the correct understanding. The Thank you. So here we go, we have the, the big, big potato, uh, Zakir Naik, and we have this other potato, and both of them, by the way, don't speak Arabic even, so they are trying to teach us Arabic, we are the Arab. So uh, the word Noor, mere reflection, which is a lie, by the way. So they are saying the word Noor, mere reflection. Ha uh ha, -huh. okay, uh, just wait, wait, wait. The word Noor, mere reflection, and uh, uh, Zakir Naik, he said, it's a light which you borrow. Uh, correct, or I'm, I'm wrong? He said that, right? So it's a it's a it's a, a light you borrow. Ah, so the word nur I want everybody to remember now. The word nur mean a light which you borrow. I want to play it again because I want to refresh your memory. Read with me, please. The moon is kamar, and its light is described as munir or nur, meaning borrowed light or a reflected light. Whereas the the moon is described as a nur. Thank you very much. If we go to the verse in here, we will see that the nur is a word used to describe the light of Allah. So the Muslims, they are saying to us that the light of Allah is borrowed light. Just to make a false miracle in about the moonlight and the sunlight, which does not even exist in the Quran, and the Quran do not make any differentiation, just to create a lie, here we go, they put themselves in a big hole, and they say the word nur, and we heard it, all of you, you heard it, saying that the word nur, mean borrowed light and they are saying to us in here the verse saying Allahu nuru samawati wal ard the same as his nur the nur of who the nur of Allah but they told us that the nur the word nur mean borrowed light so Allah borrowed with light ah oh, it might be the flashlight in his hand ah he borrowed the flashlight maybe of somebody else and this is the borrowed light Allah he have. Huh? Uh, Allah, Allah, is, Allah himself is nur. Look, look. Allah himself is nur. As long you are saying to me that the word nur is borrowed light, it's mean Allah himself is borrowed. He's not original. He himself is rented from somebody. What a joker is Muslims. When I say Muslims have no shame to lie, I mean it. And the more they lie, the more we laugh. And the more showing us that this religion have nothing, nothing real. And b because why you have to lie anyway? How, why, why a religious person need to lie to, to promote his religion? Because this religion is disgusting, satanic one. How dare you to make up a lie to make a miracle which doesn't exist?